Oh, no. Hi, Todd from Inner Fidelity here at the Consumer Electronics Show 2016. I'm here in the Hi-Fi Man booth with Fang Ben. How are you doing, Fang? Uh, good. Lovely to see you. And he has his new electrostatic Shangri-La headphones. Uh, can you tell us about them, Fang? Oh, sure. Uh, the Shangri-La headphones is our big flagship model electrostatic headphones. Um, Look, it share the uh, similar industry designing work like HC1000, but it yeah. is not a planner headphone. It is the electro electrostatic. Yeah. So, um, look, the grill is it's like this. Yeah, it's a beautiful stainless steel grill on the outside, and then the uh, the mesh is the stators in there. No, the mesh is protection, and stators is inside. Inside. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So, so the uh, yeah, but actually the stator is mesh as well. Uh, we like the, the uh, that kind of design, which is open and uh, uh, more transparent than some other design. Less acoustic impedance for the dry the diaphragm. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, the beauty of this work, there's another very important thing, which is um, we have. We have used the nanoparticle coating on the surface of the nano thickness diaphragm. Right. The uh, nanoparticles is a, is a very interesting material in uh, material science. Um, we can make it even even distributed on the surface of the diaphragm, so that we make sure all the conductivity on the on, on each area or the point of the diaphragm is identical. Exactly right. So then, uh, so uh, which means that there's uh, no, very, very little, on there, almost no, oh, no. Oh, no. Um, oh, almost, yeah. almost no, uh, Sorry. no, no distortion. Yeah, there's almost no distortion on the. Uh, on the well, it, it it means that the driver is not going to have any uh, change in motive force across the surface at all, which would probably. Um, help prevent the the driver from instantiating um, modal vibrations and and so on. I would think. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So um, so the uh, the headphone. That is why the headphones sound so good. I mean. Um, and oh, now we can talk about. I, 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 before he goes on, I'll, I'll make a comment about that because it, there was. Uh, first of all, I thought they did sound quite good. Um, but it did have a character that that uh, of of clarity that um, seemed uh, somewhat better than uh, the electrostatics I've heard in the past. So there there is something a little different that I heard. Um, of course, it would take quite a while to really evaluate that um, regarding what you just said. So great job. I mean, it's a very good job. Yeah. Okay. And so the, and now the amplifier. Yeah, now the amplifier. This is a inside design. Um, amplifier. It's a four three hundred B custom design for this amplifier. Um, so the, those those three hundred B are extremely expensive. Yes. And uh, in the uh, I do a lot of publishing. In the, uh, there's no transformer in between the output of the amplifier to the headphones, which means oh really? Yeah, that's it's, it's actually. Uh, Transformerless. Yeah, it's transformerless, which means it's, there's very little distortion. There's, uh, there's a lot of detail, very transparent. And uh, so, and so, you des did you design it somehow with the uh, output voltages of the tubes uh, being um, sort of part of the biasing of the the. Uh, the um, the the driver or something. I mean, it's a, there's high voltages on the tube, so yeah, yeah. yeah it's a it's a very good match for the uh, vacuum tilts to the electrostatic controls. Huh. The the output stage right now can go uh, vary from 50, 550 volts to uh, to six. 650 volts for this person. We actually we, we tried 700 volts. It still works. Hmm. Um, so, but right now in this very simple, um, it's 550. Hmm. Um, the reason is that it's just, we just put it together uh, before the show, so hmm. um, it's not high enough. But in other words, if you look at the socket, it's actually uh, interchangeable uh, with some other uh, electrostatic headphones. Right. Um, it's uh, it's it's gonna, it's gonna be the uh, stacks. Pro um, part for that. Hmm. So you, uh, you you can you can use these headphones with all kinds of uh, electrostatic uh, headphone amplifiers. Cool. And and um, when will it become available? Oh, we are working 
very Thank hard you, on this. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So we've put, uh, hopefully, we put yeah, we'll, 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 we'll try to make it available as soon as possible. Uh -huh. And do we ha do you have any idea of a price point yet? Um, not yet. To be <laughs> determined, <laughs> well, we need to um, we need to ask ask around. We need to see how people uh, um, after the listening to this setup, how this what they said, and then we will decide. Okay. Well, it's a very nice piece, Funk. Thank you very much for showing it to us, and uh, good luck. It's a it's a it's a great thing. I look forward to getting some more time with it eventually. Oh, sure, sure. All right. Okay, and we'll see you guys at the next booth.